For millions of artifacts in the Henry Ford's digital collections, our experts choose three and reveal the surprisingly curious connections between them. The sounding of dots and dashes, a birth date written on paper, read by light, words spoken in robotic voices stored on silicon, what is the connection? In the mid-19th and early 20th centuries, if you could quickly send and receive Morse code, you could be a professional telegraphy operator. There were school programs, and by the 1920s, home study Morse code trainer machines. With paper reels full of stored code, they played back practice exercises to help hopeful operators pass their exams. In 1964, at the New York World's Fair, IBM debuted one of the first computers capable of optical character recognition. Visitors to the computer court hand-wrote their birthday on a card, which was then fed into a computer. The computer translated the birth date to match a historic headline from the New York Times. The Votrax Type and Talk is a text-to-speech synthesizer. Its creator, Richard Gagnon, was an engineer with failing eyesight. He made this tool to help the visually and vocally impaired. Its SC01 chip spoke text on computer screens out loud, transforming words into speech sounds called phonemes. These are the building blocks of human language. This was one of the first augmented speech devices that tried to make synthesized voices sound more human. The innovative ways we ask machines to process information and how we listen are captured here. The naturalizing of computer speech, a parallel moment in time, or the binary clicks of words rendered as code.